Today we're taking on one of our winter projects and that's coating plastic foundation with beeswax. The foundation we're working with right now was actually on the bees last summer and never got drawn out. If you leave foundation on the bees very long without a honey flow they can strip the wax off and we try to get it recoated before we put it on again. We use a turkey roaster that we purchased from Walmart for melting the wax. We bought this one about two years ago. Still seems to be working fine. It's best to use capping's wax and try to avoid the dark wax that you might get from melting down old dark brood comb. That'll have excessive toxins in it and needs to be avoided. We use a 4 inch roller with a 3 8 inch nap and try to put a good heavy coat on and still leave the shape of the cells defined. Most beekeepers know that the bees will draw out beeswax foundation quicker than they will plastic, but if you put a good coat of wax on the plastic like we're doing here, you'll find there's really not much difference. We actually prefer the plastic. It's more durable than the wax. If you handle the wax foundation and comb in frigid weather, it'll break up on you, whereas the, the plastic will stay in good shape. It won't warp or sag in hot weather like the beeswax foundation will. You also won't have the communication holes and the travel holes that bees tend to put through comb made with beeswax foundation. That, that can make finding queens a little more challenging. <laughs> 